Yo, uh, Blue's Clues, n I forgot, I don't even know. God damn! He got the wagon on him! There will be consequences. What the f are you gonna do about it, n You still standing there with your little fat ass? All right, so what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Birkin Boy today, and welcome back to Fears to Fathom. This time, it's about the Norwood Hitchhike. Now, 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 if you are one of my um, older subscribers, you know that Fears to Fathom is one of my, um, my best gameplays on my channel. I think it has like 13K views. My, uh, my most viewed horror game is uh, 64,000, and that was the... What was the game called again? A Slide in the Woods. And then I think this is my second most popular like horror game um, that I've played. So uh, yeah, I'm actually excited that this episode came out because the last one had me shitting bricks, dude. It was, it was like you're home alone and then someone broke into your, oh fuck no. So yeah, guys, I'm really excited for this episode. So I mean, without further ado, let's get right into the video, bro. Let's get- Yeah, see, our first one was Home Alone. Now we're doing Norwood Hitchhike. This, oh. I'm 19 too. <laughs> this happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. Ooh, that, that, that dude did a road trip? Oh, fuck no. This convention I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'll take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. God damn. My longest drive that I've done was uh, approximately one hour. <laughs> no, no, we're not getting out of the car. Do, do you see where we are? Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. <laughs> to each his motherfucking own, my nigga. So, you wanna tell me why we have to get out of the car? I mean, aren't we... Fucking God. Like, uh... Oh, the music is playing, bro. What kind of fucking old school ass car is this? Am I supposed to be dry? Oh! Oh, I'm driving? Oh, nah, bro. Oh, nah. They don't want me driving this shit. Nigga, we playing Tokyo Drift out here, my nigga. Skirt! Skirt! No, 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 nigga. You, you're, you're waiting with me. You're waiting with me, bitch! We're speeding. We're, we're, yeah, we're flooring this shit. Aiden Williams, one text message. One text messages, huh? What? Okay, anyway. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, appreciate you, bro. Whoa, why is that, why is that music? I'm scared as fuck. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Gotta get your car for like five days, please. Oh, this is my dad's car? With who? Aiden. That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour, 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Don't forget to call me. You got it, dad. Anything else? Leaving now, drive safe, Holly. All right, let's get it. All right, so, uh, you know, we're just chilling. I'm a chick, apparently. That's why I'm so close to the fucking steering wheel. Oh, dad, one text message. All right, what you say, dad? Where did you reach? Um, oh, still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Dad, I kind of banged Aiden in the middle of the convention. Oh, motherfucker. I need gas. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Fuck. Dad, one text message. What you say? Told you to take that flight. All right, Dad. Well, that's not going to help now that I'm fucking 12 hours away from home. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. Nigga, my gas tank is not feeling all right, bro. Oh, brother. All right, well, there's a car here, so. Fuck, is this the night shift? All right, let's pull and get some gas, shall we? All right. Let's get some gas. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm not ready for this. All right, let's enter. You got pubes for a haircut. Where's, where's your hairline at? Nigga, your hairline got a back court violation, my nigga. Mom, one text message. Holly? Mom? Answer. Nigga. What the fuck is this? The, the guy from Blue's Clues? Hello. Hi, can I get $10 on pump too? You heading to the bridge by yourself? Huh? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. 
Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. Oh God. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. So I'm running from a fucking monster. Can I use the toilet? It's not cleaned. Then clean it. It's your fucking job, you fucking fat chin ass nigga. And who is this fruity ass dude just walking around the store, bro? Like, buy something. You heard about the Norwood Valley monster? How's your night going? Let's let's talk about the monster. Huh? The Norwood Valley monster. You know anything? Big must. No, I ain't done talking to you, dude. How's your night going though? He just looked at me. Yo, uh, Blue's Clues nigga. I forgot, I don't even know. God damn! He got the wagon on him! There will be consequences. F fuck are you gonna do about it, nigga? You still standing there with your little fat ass? And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. <laughs> okay! Okay! I got you! Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, man, what do you think, ma'am? It just ain't. Okay, I wasn't going to regardless. Who is that walking out? Whoa, whoa, he walking fast as hell. Mom, three text messages. Let's read. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something from Milo? I'll pay you back. Nigga, I am like six hours away from home. Just get it your damn self. <laughs> Never go. Here we go. That'll be $5, ma'am. Got you. With this big ass bag? Shit. Appreciate you, dog. All right, I'll see you. Hopefully you get that hairline fixed. Both of y'all niggas, I'm out. Me on the road, you do realize a thing. What is that thing, Holly? Monsters, whoa, whoa, hold on now, hold on now. And every single one of them, hold on now, chill, chill. Whoa, whoa, what's going on though? Why do, why do you have to say that? Wait, surprisingly there was dog food at the gas station and you don't need to pay me for it? Are you not gonna answer your, whoa, why, why'd the lights turn off? Yo. Yo! Oh, there we go. The fuck? What? Damn! We in these slopes! We in White Eagles MX Plus B up in this bitch! Hold on, let, let me. <laughs> uh, hello? Is this. A, what is this? A uh, fucking. Uh, uh, damn Hellcat? Oh no, this is a bummy ass car. Yo, move it, Grandma! You driving too damn slow. I'm gonna pass you. Move! Oh, n now you want to take off, huh? Now you want to take off. All right. All right. <laughs> Bro, if this game expects me to, like, be curious and be like, oh, my God, what was that? And get out of my car? Yeah, <laughs> y'all tweaking. I ain't stopping for shit. There's this very weird thing about that night. Oh, shit. Shit. Fuck. All right, let's get out. It almost seemed as if someone deliberately put those there, but I didn't think much of it. No, 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 bro. So you're telling me two big ass logs are just gonna naturally appear on the road? Yeah, fucking stupid. Come on, move these, you big ass. I don't know how you're doing this, low key, strong ass. I hear something. Fuck. Oh my god. Get in the car. Get in the car. And take off. Take off. Go. Go. Bro, 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 bro. No, 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 you're no. 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 No, 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 no. Fucking ball sack. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Oh my god, imagine, bro. I'm not saying what the fuck? I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bull crap that gas station clerk pulled up. But I would be lying if I say I didn't feel the slightest of un who would not feel uh, uh, unease in this moment? Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Oh no. Oh, I'm hitchhiking? I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Oh no, 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 no. You know what this reminds me of now? 10.23 PM. Oh geez. I saw a car nearing. Where? Oh. Damn, see now. <laughs> That would definitely be me. 10.43 p.m. All right, so about 20 minutes later, I guess another car is about to pull up. So did my car... Hello? 
fuck you, man. All right, let, let me let me change the voice. You're the girl from the gas station. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. Isn't he's not saying anything? Where are you heading to? Uh, just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just start in the back. I won't be here for too long. Oh no. Uh, uh come on, man. So wait. What was the thing with the monster? This isn't a monster. This is just some random ass nigga. Oh god. Don't look at me like that, bro. Start driving. Thank you. So, you won't tell me who you are. Where are you going? I'd rather not say if that's okay. If you say so. Don't don't give me that small talk, nigga. I don't know you. You was walking fucking fruity up in that gas station, bro. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you're a one brave young woman. So who's that bad guy? This this fucking pedophile looking ass motherfucker or Stop talking to me! So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Um, he really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiots tell that to every person traveling down here. Left mouse button to talk. So is it true? What? The monster? Let's say I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are. There are some things. But I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and you don't be bothered. Oh, so is this guy cool now? Alright, I'm gonna change the voice a little bit. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before, but... I'm not the best with people. Alright, so maybe he's not all that bad. I could be wrong, though. But until then, I'm gonna change his voice a little bit so he's not a fucking creep. 12... Oh, wait, God damn. After a bit, little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a moment. Oh, so he was, he was a cool guy. Alright. So I didn't even have to do that creepy ass voice. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there. He said ominously before leaving. <laughs> are you one of them? Like, damn! <laughs> Nigga, where are you trying to go? Who the fuck is this, Mater? All right, here we go. We're at a motel. Oh God. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Is this your brother? You look skinnier, but you're wearing the same fucking... You share the same hairline. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? $40 for a single. Pay cash only. Whatever, bro. He got some stocky freaking shoulders. Look at him. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. $90? Tommy will take care of it? Oh, my car. Next thing in the morning. Ah, uh, fuck it. All right, whatever. Good, I'll tell Tommy now. Oh no, I'll let Tommy know, my bad. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Whatever. Nigga, I was tired anyway. I didn't want to talk to your fucking ugly looking ass. Is this all my shit? The only way I... Oh, hello. Oh, it didn't deliver. Hey, where you at? Your dad's calling me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, I mean, there should be service here. Oh my god. It was nice and warm inside. Except there was a smell, a type of musky smell you get from old houses. Where? 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 Where's the, the mattress at? Where? Hold on, bro. This big ass. How is this TV this big, but it's so old fashioned? They can be playing the fucking OG ass Mickey Mouse cartoons on this shit. All right, so no! No! Bro, you can't be doing that. What the hell are you doing here? I should be asking you, nigga. Dot, dot, dot. I'm Tommy. Room service here at the roadway inn. The finest stop over in Norwood. Okay, so what the fuck are you doing in my bathroom? You know cleaning stuff. Look at the smirk on his face, bro. The guy at the front desk gave me this room, bro. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. 
I'll just get my stuff. Whatever. <laughs> I got so scared I fucking crouched. Like, imagine scaring someone. They just start fucking, like, squatting. God damn. Oh, man. I have to go one at a time. Well, not one at a time, but two at a time. I'm gonna keep checking on him, though. Gotta make sure he's not setting up any cameras behind the mirror like that one... Excuse me, sir. Uh, this is not... It doesn't look like cleaning to me. Had to work with Joe about the... Nigga, where's Joe? I, I was gone for like 30 seconds. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I'll go get your car. And also, the room's phone is, is not working. If you need anything, just ask that at the front desk. Bro, what is... <laughs> what is this walk everybody be doing, man? I have to get my stuff in the room before I could sleep. All right. I wonder if there's anything like I missed from not stopping on the road. But honestly, I could care less. Close the door. Lock it. I can't lock the door. Am I supposed to hide in here? Oh, no, sir. <gasps> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What, what if I like... Bro, nah, that, that just sent chills down my fucking neck, bro. This is knockoff Transformers? Like, okay. <laughs> All right, going to bed. Leave the TV on. See, I always do that. Who is having a bowel movement in the bathroom? Do you hear that? What is that? <laughs> I can't move. Call it a force, but there was something very off about that place. Like, there was someone at your fucking window. Yes, I'll give you the details later, Chief. I couldn't help but shake the feeling that something wasn't right. Oh my god, me neither. Who, who was shitting in here, though? Did, I know y'all heard that. Shit was gooey and everything. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't see. Wait, what'd you say before that? A hot cup of coffee could help. I thought to myself, is there coffee here? Oh, here we go. Damn, they got like a coffee vending machine up in this bitch? Espresso, cappuccino. I'm not that much of a coffee guy. I'll take some espresso, you know what I'm saying? My sister loves espresso, whatever the fuck that is. I don't, I don't even know what makes espresso. All right. We ain't going to sleep now, baby. Whoa, hello. What? Dude. The, the 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 look at everything's inverted like when I go left it goes right um bro I am off the fucking arc 30 right now who gave me a perk was the the drink was the drink like drugged or something but how nigga who who roofies espresso coffee like get in the room oh god I'm so disoriented go to sleep Go to sleep, sleep these fucking perks off, man. I was sedated. Oh, shit. Did he drug the entire... ...machine? Like... Didn't feel safe going on here. I don't feel safe in this fucking room. If he's not working all of a sudden. Who's out there? Who is it? No. Wait, there's someone in my fucking room. Yeah, okay, fuck it. Open it. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all that goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Mention the coffee machine. Yes, I'm high as fuck! Are you messing with me? You don't have no coffee machine? That's why I was one! Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest. But I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. 
I hate my job. I don't like how he's walking like that behind me. I know he's cool, but like, and this music. Wait. Was I tripping? Oh, oh, oh my God, bro. No, 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 no. Did you guys see the guy walk out? Oh my God, my nipples, my nipples, bro, bro, bro. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. I swear to God, it was right here. I said, go back now. Did you not hear me? I said, go back to the room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. Whoa! He broke his neck! The guy in my room left. I don't know what the point of hiding in the closet was if you're just gonna leave. Oh my god. I can't lock this door, man. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. The table by the TV. What are these? Requires water. I can't do this! I can't do this! Oh, oh, talk about the fucking sink water. Okay, got you. I can't. I can't take this, guys. I can't fucking take this shit. My nipple. This is a long ass game, though. I'm not gonna lie. Can I? Is anyone watching me? Can I go back to sleep now? All right. Good night. I don't like how the blinds are lifted, dude. Dude. Anything can happen at any moment. If someone pops out from under the bed or some shit. Bro, what do I do? Oh, wait, am I? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Please open the door. I need help. What the fuck do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Nope. Nope. You can kick fucking rocks, bitch. You can, you... I know you're in there. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm calling the cops. Pretty lady. Oh! Fuck! Hide. He's off. Joe? Good shit! My nigga Joe! Yes, sir! Sock his dumb ass! The manager inferred not to get the police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would like I would always take airplanes. Yes, sir! My nigga Joe coming in clutch! How are you gonna spend all that time stalking a chick, breaking into her motel room, just to get clocked by some fucking bum ass looking, blues clues looking ass motherfucker with a receding hairline? Oh my god, hold on, round of applause. <laughs> round of applause. Now that was good. That was some good stuff. All right, the part that I'm confused at was like the whole monster thing. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like, the plot was kind of all over the place. Like, I didn't know who the bad guy even was. Like, he was just a random ass dude. So, like, what happened with the coffee machine, me getting drugged, the apparent monster in this area? Who was the random ass dude in the white shirt? This shit was kind of all over the place. But 
It was fucking amazing. I'm gonna be honest. This shit creeped me out like a motherfucker. This was a lot longer than the first episode, though. I've been recording for an hour. Like, legit an hour. It took about seven months for the second episode to come out, so... I'm gonna expect a new episode by the at least the end of this year. I'm gonna be honest, like, gameplay-wise, this second episode was better, but, like, I feel like the first episode was, like, you know, more enjoyable in terms of, like, the story. I was more, uh, let's say, I was more immersed in the first episode because, you know, it was, like, kind of short and straight to the point. This one was kind of, like, you know, all over the place, but it was still a great fucking game overall. All right, guys, so that was Fierce to Fathom, Norwood Hitchhike, episode two. It was like a fucking roller coaster. I didn't even know who the bad guy was. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video, man. <gasps> Deuces!